Today, students are mourning the loss of two of their peers and demanding an end to gun violence following Friday's shooting at Benito Juarez High School. Dozens of students staged a walkout to make their voices heard. CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez joins us live from the high school with new information on the victims. Maribel. Yeah, that's right, Eric. And following that protest and walkout, community members left behind these candles as a reminder of those two young lives lost. Activists and students here say they want to call attention to the senseless violence that ha happens all too often in this neighborhood. A somber return to classes at Benito Juarez Community Academy after a deadly shooting near the campus on Friday. Students walking out of class in the middle of their school day with balloons and signs in hand, demanding an end to the gun violence in their neighborhood. I want the world to see that we can't have safety and we can't be safe at school. A community mourning together after two teens, Brandon Perez and Nathan Villegas, were killed and two others shot as students were being dismissed for the day. Look at the birthday and then look at the day that they have died. And the dash in there is what we remember of their lives. But that dash keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Annette Hernandez, the grandmother of 14-year-old Nathan Villegas, telling us in Spanish her family still hasn't processed the reality that her loving grandson is gone. Nathan was a student at Chicago Bulls Prep Academy, visiting his sister on Friday, who is a student at Benito Juarez. Grandma says she was on her way to pick them both up when she got the call from his sister that he had been shot. She was by his side during his final moments. They say Nathan was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Meanwhile, police are still on the hunt for the shooter. They released this photo of a person of interest in the case. Nathan's family as well as students here are calling for more security on campus. The school saying they upped their security as students returned to classes today, as well as offered more grief support services for those who need them. Reporting outside of Benito Juarez Academy, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS2 News. Maribel, thank you.